There's still questions as to the exact mechanism of why some people get patellar tendinopathy and others don't. This 2017 study looked at 50 Japanese cadavers, and they wanted to see if these anatomical differences could lead to patellar tendinopathy in some people versus others. They put up a bunch of photos for demonstration purposes. You can see what the patella looks like. You can see what the patellar tendon looks like. But what was most interesting was the differences in the patella and the differences where the patellar tendon was inserting. As far as the shape of the patella, they had three different classifications. The pointed type, which was seen in 57% of people. The intermediate type found in 21% of people. And the blunt type found in 22% of people. And they had two classifications for where the patellar tendon was inserting on the patella. They had the anterior type found in 46% of people and the posterior type in 54% of people. In the discussion of the paper, the researchers talked about this posterior tilt of the patella and how that can be a problem involved in this impingement mechanism, which can lead to degeneration on the patellar tendon. And this is thought to occur more with the pointed type than with the blunt type and more with the anterior type than with the posterior type. And if we put those two groups together, add the pointed type and the anterior type, they were found to have a longer patellar tendon versus the blunt type and posterior type were shown to have a shorter patellar tendon. So what does all this mean practically? Well, it probably means that some people are more likely to develop patellar tendinopathy than other people simply based on the way their patella is and where their patellar tendon is inserting on their patella. And these are things that you can't change. And it probably means that some people are more likely to experience this impingement mechanism when they flex their knee. So you can't be recipe based in your rehab plan. You have to find exercises that your body agrees with, exercises that decrease pain and improve function over time. So hopefully that helps. Try it out. Enjoy.